The United States has angered China for selling Taiwan nearly two billion U.S. dollars worth of weapons and chips. Bruce Harrison joins me live in the studio. Now, Bruce, how long has this been in the works, and uh, what's in it? Hello, Kang Yang. The U.S. just authorized this deal, but Congress approved it more than a year ago. Uh, the package includes two frigates, anti-tank missiles, amphibious assault vehicles, and some other equipment as well. Well, Bruce, uh, China considers Taiwan a renegade province, so and the U.S. has just given it more weapons. How does this bode for uh, U.S.-China relations? The U.S. said that it's not changing what it calls its one China policy. And now that means that the U.S. will still not recognize Taiwan as an independent state. But Obama approved the deal anyway because Washington does believe Taiwan should have a credible defense under a nearly 40-year-old act which defines relations with authorities in Taipei. China was quick to threaten sanctions against U.S. companies involved in the deal. But it's unclear how sanctions would impact future deals or deals those companies already have with the Chinese government. The U.S. companies involved in the arms sale have severely violated China's sovereignty and security and thus will not be allowed to cooperate with the Chinese government and enterprises. The sale is especially sensitive right now because of a power struggle in the South China Sea. Beijing's been building islands in those waters to gain more control over major shipping lanes. The U.S. has said it won't stop patrols despite China's claims of sovereignty.